Dr. Jeremy Gehrman with Inertia Medical. Today we're going to talk about Hoffa's Fat Pad Syndrome. This is something, um, we just had a patient that came in with knee pain. She's been a long-term patient of ours and she said that when she was just repositioning her leg one day, she got this uh, kind of sharp pain and this acute inflammation around the, the inside part of her knee. But she said that it seemed to be like right under the skin, that when you pressed on it, it was tender and then after taking some anti-inflammatories, it seemed to go away. And we suspect that what it was is Hoffa's Fat Pad Syndrome. So um, all of us have, oh, I'm trying to get these tight pants up over my knee, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. But all of us have this protective fat pad. There we go. It actually kind of sits underneath the patellar tendon. The fat pad can become inflamed and impinged in a situation where there's just kind of overuse of the knee, like in some runners, or if you just uh, have a little bit of inflammation there and you position the, the knee just the right way, what will happen is that um, fat pad, the protective fat pad, will be pinched between the lower leg bone and the upper leg bone, the, the tibia and the femur. And um, you can get inflammation uh, below the skin there in that protective fat pad and pain. And so when they come to the clinic, you can diagnose it a couple of ways. The story sometimes gives it away. You can actually press on the fat pad and extend their leg, which will further impinge that soft tissue, that area. And they'll have pain with that most often. You can also put a little bit of numbing medication right under the skin into the fat pad, but not into the joint. And when you get in in the fat pad, if it relieves their symptoms, you know that's in fact what it is. So generally, the treatment for it is uh, similar to that of many overuse, uh, soft tissue overuse syndromes. It's anti-inflammatories and relative rest. Uh, and there are other things that could be done also uh, from a procedural standpoint if it becomes a persistent problem. So if you haven't heard about that, Hoffa's fat pad uh, syndrome, Hoffa's disease, sometimes it's called, but that sounds a little bit nasty. You might want to look into it if it's something that sounds like uh, could be something that's been bothering you. So let us know if you have any questions.